Welcome to Lambeau Field. This is the visitor's tunnel. It is small and dumb, like the visitors. And this is the home tunnel, which is big and awesome. Legit metal though, like that top hurts, dude. Why are you making those noises? <clears throat> well, I am now the wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, do you want me to Three, two, one. Boom. There's no lights! <laughs> it was behind you. Oh, I didn't see it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tom Grassi, and I'm going to 30 NFL stadiums in 30 days. Hi, U.S. Where do you work? Lambeau Field. Welcome to my cubicle. Brian Gutekunst has said personally that he is a mentor and a lifelong friend. I read it somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, from Packers.com, Wes Hotquits. Man, Tom, what, that was a hell of an intro, man. I mean, like, I think I got I to gotta take some of that energy and use it in my own stuff. My goodness, <laughs> that was the best one I've ever received. We have a lot of people that were involved with the idea, but basically when I started here in 16, all these walls were completely white. Because if you know that, this used to be Curly's, right? Yes. This is the area of the space where Curly's yes. used to be. Our director of brand and marketing, Joe Malczewski, a bunch of people got involved. In addition to, obviously you can see kind of coloring up the walls, commissioned a lot of amazing artwork. I mean, you literally could have a museum tour throughout this building with the amount of art that has been added. You see this one here, but as you walk down the halls, I mean, there is old photographs, things that were stuck in both the Press Gazette archives, our archives. I mean, that's the coolest part of this whole deal is that like I, before I came here, obviously I worked at the Press Gazette. Sure. There was an entire room in the back of the Press Gazette that was negatives that weren't developed. And between Joan and everybody yeah. over there and obviously people at the Packers, we developed them, we commissioned art, local artists, national artists, and really beautified the entire place. I mean, to have that type of stuff on the walls, I mean, you would talk about like a constant reminder of like how yeah. special this place is, it's right there in front of you. Wes Hotquits is famous for this. Famous? Famous. Okay. Because I, every Instagram story, yep. Every single game you've been doing it since 2016, or is this just how many you're up? Since since I've started with the Packers, 2016 was my first year. Okay, so as you can see, 2017 has kind of evaporated. It's almost like a, a Harry Potter spell. We it's forget about that season away. anyway. It's yeah. fine. Okay, actually, 2018 too. Those are the ones that kind of disappear. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Those don't need to be there. But yeah, every single day. Well, most days. Uh check out the bottom one there, though, bro. The I still haven't put in the Lions game. Oh, too soon. Too soon. It is. Painful. It is too soon.
just set up the hall of fame. Oh, okay. And he did one for me because I'm a collector. I've yeah. been collecting stuff over 60 years. Oh, so I gotta show you some things that I just got. These seats have never been outside my family's name since Lambo opened. Like 122, 16, 5, and 6, yeah. Banky. I turn to Ted and I go, Ted, smile for Packers fans. And that was the smile he gave me. And like that, it's like Ted, that's Ted. And then it got in Green Bay, a city and its team. So my other grandfather, my mom's side, Bob, this is written to Bob. He wrote my, he wrote Bart Starr a letter Took Bart Starr 10 years to write the letter, but he wrote him a letter back. And he's like, this is my grandfather's Alabama address. Please accept my apology for the unusually lengthy delay in getting this to you. No excuses, simply misplaced the request and only rediscovered it recently, in quotes. Great to know you're an avid fan and hope you like the enclosed autograph photo. Best wishes to you and your family and friends for a special 2004. 1994 to 2004. Yeah. I never even knew this existed. <laughs> Cause why would you? I had no idea. So this is a cocktail napkin from 61. So we're going into it, the most famous championship year and they've decided to print the schedule on the back of the napkin. Oh. Why would you do this? Wow, but even how does that survive? It's a napkin. Yeah, this, this is literally made to put a drink on it. As soon as you and put a drink on it, it I, I feel like it's got, evolved to a point where it's so deep where you can just be like, yeah, I'm entrenched now. Because you could be a casual observer from New York or anything like that, but you have taken it upon yourself to be like, not only am I gonna live right there, but I'm also gonna entrench myself in the community, which by the way, entrenches yourself more into the team because they're so intertwined. Yeah, and that's 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 kind of like the fun journey of like being in town and doing like farmer's market Wednesdays. And like last week, uh, Lodge Kohler had events, Titletown. So it's like Titletown has events, De Pere has events, and like just kind of embedding yourself into the things that are going on. You know, Green Bay just got designated the the number one place to live in America. It, it I'm not lying, by the it's way. True. It was for a U.S. Corey News tweeted it. For it's true. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, but like, and the NFL draft coming here. I just feel like so many people are going to come here, and when you come here, it's not. It, there's a really large. There's a larger diversity of people. Like for instance, like my girlfriend and I went to this place in New York that we would go to, and it wasn't as good as this place downtown Green Bay. That's Focoma because. The people that own it are like, they're just really freaking good. And there's this whole yeah. like community of people that are just like, I need this thing, right? Cheers to you. I appreciate it. Cheers. That's that job.
job, Badger State. Do we still have the perfect four on the road? I signed my own fee. Look at me now, Dad. The master's degree was worth it. <laughs> show us for the plug. Show, show oh, the they're front. all sold out. They're gone. Are now. they really? Yeah, no, they're gone. They're unlimited. They're done now. Suck at your mic. All this we get for talking trash about rock. <laughs> Did you bring it? Oh, let's go! Oh, you gotta, gotta go kitty. All right, low key though. Like, we have to talk about this real quick. Like, I legit started Kitty Goes Meow, right? Like, it's everywhere now, but I'm like, come on, guys. Like, okay. We got super chicken. All right, to Tom Crossy. We got a super chicken, everybody. We got you want me? This is this is the greatest thing. You want me to sign this for you? Oh, you can keep it. I can't. That's that's freaking awesome, dude. That's a you did that. Uh, I did that last night because he told he just last me, night he messaged me last night. He's like, dude, you should draw a picture. I'm like, Man, I'm I could spend that. six years trying to do this and I could not draw. Dude, this is amazing. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi, and as always, go! go!